number two, the diagram on the right shows the curve. So we have the, this one, this curve, which is tangent and normal at P, A, B. The tangent is perpendicular. The tangent is perpendicular to the line. So we know that tangent is equal to dy over dx. So when it say that the tangent is perpendicular, so perpendicular, we say, we say equation of normal. So it's given that dy is equal to 4 minus x, right? And it meets the x axis at b. So the normal, so we see here this one is a tangent. So this one is a normal and meet the x axis at c, right? Fine. So a, the values of a and b. So firstly, we need to know what can we, what can we do with the given information. So we see here, it's given that the, this is the equation of the normal. So we know the relation between normal and tangent is that their gradient. So m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1. So from the equation of normal, we can get what is the gradient of normal. So here, 2y is equal to 4 minus x. So y is equal to, so you divide everything with 2. So 4 over 2 minus x over 2. So here you get negative half x plus 2. Because I want to arrange it inside, uh, in terms of y is equal to m x plus c. So you can see that gradient of normal, I just write m n, is equal to negative half. So you can find y is the gradient of tangent. That means the gradient of tangent, I, I give it m1. You know, m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1. So m1 is equal to negative 1 divided by, by m2. So we already know the m2 which is the normal which is negative half. So you get 2. So now you know that gradient of tangent is 2 or dy over dx is equal to 2. So you see you find the value of a and b. So we know that dy over dx is equal to 2. So we are given this equation y y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 1, where we can find dy over dx. So dy over dx, so x squared, we get 2x. Negative 4x, we get negative 4. When we differentiate, right? And we know that dy over dx is equal to 2. So we can substitute 2. When dy over dx is equal to 2, now we can get what is x, right? So here, uh, okay, we want 2x, so we bring negative 4 to the left, so we have 2x is equal to 2 plus 4, which is equal to 6, so x is equal to 6 divided by 2, so you get 3. So now we have 3, so this is a coordinate with P, A and B, so you have x is equal to 3. So how to find y? So we have equation with y, so you just substitute inside the equation, when x is equal to 4, what is your y? So when x is equal to 4 but x is equal to 3, y is equal to, so here would be 3 squared minus 4, 3 plus 1 which is 9 minus 12 plus 1, this is negative 3 plus 1, you get negative 2. So here you get negative 2. So A is equal to 3, B is equal to negative 2. So B equation B equation of the tangent at P and coordinates of P. So we know the equation of tangent. So Y minus Y1 is equal to M, X minus X1. Or you can also use y is equal to m s plus c. So any one you can use. But if you use this one, you just have to substitute the value of m and coordinate of x, y. So we know that our p here is 3, negative 2. And the gradient of the tangent, we have found it, which is 2. So here we know that m, m1 is equal to 2. I just write it m1 as a tangent lah. So here y minus y y1. So this is y is negative 2 is equal to m is 2 x minus x1 is 3. So this one is x1, y1. Because the one we put 
inside the equation lah. So y plus 2 is equal to 2x. This one is 2x. 2 times negative 3, you get negative 6. So y is equal to 2x minus 6. You bring this one back, minus 2, so you get 2x minus 8. So the equation of the tangent at P, so y is equal to 2x minus 8. So the coordinate of P, what happened at B? So we see it crossing the x-axis, where when you cross the x-axis, y is equal to 0. So here when y is equal to 0, we get 2x minus 8, 2x is equal to 8, x is equal to 4. So when y is equal to 0, x is equal to 4. So the coordinate of B is 4, 0. So C, the equation of the normal at P and the coordinate of C. So same, C is crossing the x as is. So we know that y is 0. So we need to find what is x. So we know the equation y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. So the gradient of the normal is, so you see the gradient of the normal is negative half. So y minus y1 is negative 2 is equal to m is negative half x minus x1 is 3. So y plus 2 is equal to negative half x. So negative half times negative 3, you get plus 3 over. So here y is equal to negative half x plus 3 over 2 minus 2. So here you get negative half x. So 3 over 2 minus 2, 2 is 4 over 2. So you get negative half. So here, y is equal to negative half x minus half. So you see here, equation of uh, when we do when we do equation, there's a few ways where you can show how your your equation can be. It can be y is equal to m x plus c. It can be we can also remove the denominator by multiplying everything with two, and you get two y is equal to c negative x minus 1, 2 x plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. So actually there are a few ways to show how, to show uh, the equation. But it is okay as long as you get the correct value lah. The correct, uh, your calculation is right. Okay. So when y is equal to 0, so just like here, so 0 is equal to negative half x minus half. So I see here, I bring half to the left, I get half x is equal to negative half. So you can remove two, x is equal to negative one. So C you get, this one is negative one, zero. So D, the area of triangle BPC in unit square. So BPC, so we see here we have this triangle here. So this is 90 degree, right? Because we know this one is tangent and normal, which is 90 degree. Uh, so this is the B. B is 4, 0. So this one is negative 1, 0 just now. So C is negative 1, 0. So P is AB, which is we get. 3, negative 2. So this is just right C, B, P. So the area is equal to half. So you see here, you need to have 3 points, right? And then you need to come back to that point again. So if I take C, uh, I need to put C, B, P, C again. If I get B, B, P, C, B again. Um, but usually, I like to put start with, uh, with the 1 with 0 because you don't have to do much calculation compared to the 1 with the both number. So I want to start with B. I want to start with C, sorry. So C, B, P, and So C is negative 1, 0. So B is 4, 0. P is 3, negative 2. And then C is negative 1, 0. So here, half. So negative 1 times 0 is 0. So 0, you don't have to write. So 4 times negative 2 is plus negative 8. So you see, up to below you, plus. 3 times 0 is 0, okay. And then 0 times 4 is 0. Minus 0 times 3 is 0. So minus negative 2 times negative 1. It's just right, it's lah. So half. 
this one will be negative 8 so minus so negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 right is negative 2 times 1 is 2 but times uh, but times negative you get negative 2 so half negative 10 so half 10 this is my one so i get 5 unit square